On this week's Tuesday Talk, we are answering a question from a viewer about dogs. Just a bunch of different questions. So let's go through a few of them. We have dogs. Yes. Did we have them before we started traveling? We did. Were they good travelers before we started traveling? We didn't really know, but not really. Well, Penny actually... But they were... I, Penny slept. We drive two hours to go visit my parents. Penny would sleep and Patty would pant. Now it's the reverse. Yeah. Um, no idea why or how or whatever. If so. they weren't good travelers, would we have still done this lifestyle? Yes. Yes. A because dog. We probably would not get a dog after doing this lifestyle because there's just a lot of things that you have to remember. You know, you can't be out for you know x x number of hours or there's always there's always something that you have to think about back at the airstream with temperature and things like that to make sure your dogs aren't overheating or getting too cold. So. We wouldn't give, give them up for anything, but we probably wouldn't have got them if we started without dogs first yeah. and then had the choice later on. But if our dogs were not good travelers to start with, it would depend on how bad of a traveler they were. We would never have traveled if they were awful, 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 awful travels, I think. Like if they like just freaked out and we had to tranquilize them every time. Because um, we weren't <laughs> going to get rid of the dogs in order to do this. It would be nice not to tranquilize our dogs. Yes. But there are ways to help dogs with travel days. Now mm -hmm. Patty is actually fine. She sleeps the whole time. And Penny's the one who pants. We got her a thunder shirt. I'll put a link down below. It's and maybe we have a picture or something. I don't know. We um, it's a pretty much just a shirt you put on a dog and it gets it wraps them nice and tight and it makes them feel more secure with thunderstorms or driving or anything that gives them anxiety. And it seems yeah. to be helping with Penny some. Somewhat, yeah, somewhat. It's we not also, like a night and day difference, but some dogs I've I've heard it does make a night and yeah. day difference. So it might with your dog. Yeah. With ours, it makes some difference, but I don't think it's significant. We're lucky our dogs don't get car sick. I have a friend whose car dog gets car sick. She actually fed her ginger pills, like in her food before they'd go on on car rides, and that wow. actually helped because, like you know, for humans, ginger helps. So there are ways to help your dogs if they're not great travelers, and maybe look into those. Talk to your vet or something like that if you think that's going to be a problem when traveling. Yeah. And some dogs may even want a crate. If you have a small enough dog or a small enough crate, they may feel more comfortable in that. That is very in, true. In, the, in your travel vehicle or in your motorhome or yep. Class A or Class B, Class C, whatever you happen to be traveling in and living in, um, if there's their own little space, a space for them that only they, Where can, they can go and get to and they feel comfortable, yeah. that definitely helps. You can also make it more exciting. For a while, we were feeding our dogs special wet dog food every travel day when we got there and that kind of made it so the travel day yes not the best thing but they'd actually be kind of looking forward to the end of it because the they'd, it get, anyway. they'd get they'd get the treats so there are different ways that you can work with your dogs to make it a little bit more comfortable yeah. so hopefully that answered your question if you have any questions for us for a future tuesday talk leave it in the comments below well okay i'm sure they're going to wonder how often we take our dogs outside of the airstream like on our hikes and whatever we don't because no. our dogs don't like doing that. No. So they would actually prefer to be left in the rig while we go out and adventure. Yeah. So it, they drive with us on travel days with the Airstream and that's pretty much it unless they're going to the vet or something. They'll be in the Airstream the rest of the time um, because that's just where they are more comfortable and uh, we just make sure that the temperatures are good and everything like that before yeah. we leave them. Not all, do not all trails allow dogs, not all beaches allow dogs. So all those things you'll, you'll just have to look at if your dog likes to go out with you and is more of a normal dog than <laughs> ours. Um, though all those um, considerations I guess come into play. Yeah. But for us, it's always just leave them. Yeah, because so we they'd don't rather even have be to there. think about whether they're they happen to be allowed where we're going because they're not going with us anyway. Exactly. Anything else? I think that's it. Okay. Again, if you have a question for a future talk, future Tuesday talk, leave it in the comments below, and we will see you next time. Bye, guys. Bye.